Good morning, everyone. Today I'm going to talk about breaking down barriers. I was looking through a book I've read a couple times now, Blue Fishing by Steve Sims. Um, I met him through Doc V. Doc V talked about this in one of the very probably first 30 days of our challenge, so that's over two years ago. And I do follow Steve and um, his uh, dis uh, creative disruptors. I'm part, I'm part of that group. But I, I went to a section that reminded me of a couple things in life, and it's about breaking down barriers. We create in our minds barriers that prevent us from moving forward. And a lot of the work I've done in the past couple of years is my thoughts, what I think about, where I head, what I want to do. Um, good morning, Miss Ruth. And I realized that I have many, many barriers. And what was interesting is when I read this passage from Steve Sims, um, it introduced one end of breaking down barriers, and it made me think about a second end of breaking down barriers. Good morning, good morning. And the Steve Sims breaking down barriers, for people that don't know, this is a really interesting book. And this is kind of the first book that really, Doc V has reinforced it for several years now, but this introduced the idea to me that I struggled from analysis paralysis, that I stood watching and I didn't take the steps I needed to move forward. But what was interesting, Steve Sims was a bouncer in a bar in Europe. And eventually he became a, a like a concierge. He was planning big, huge parties and he planned some amazing parties for, you know, like Elton John and people like that. He had connections. He had connections everywhere. And that's what he did for the rich and the famous. Now he has groups where he tries to help people achieve more that are not the rich and the famous. But this area about barriers was really interesting to me because he talked about, he has this passage called putting on the Ritz. And what he said is that he learned to break down barriers. Good morning, Dolly. He was breaking down barriers and this sounds like fun. And he said that um, because he was a, like, like I said, a bouncer in a bar and then uh, he actually was a bricklayer prior to going to bouncing in a bar and now he he does like helping people to create the lives that they never had again blue fishing by steve sims but um when he talked about putting on the ritz what he said is that he always had in his mind when he was younger that what would it be like to be in a hotel these thousands of dollar a night hotels what would it be like and he said so after a period of time he decided he just wanted to have an experience and he was started sitting in the lobbies of these hotels just to experience it then one day he decided hey i'm going to tell them that i'm i'm scheduled in a hotel down the road in a couple of weeks well they show me their best room just so i can see what it's like so he started going into hotels now all these years later he still tries to experience different hotels he still tries to see things differently and what he said is he realized in that moment that it was breaking down barriers. He was making something comfortable and common and realizable that before he had put a block up. And the block was that barrier that that's these people, this is where I'm at. I can't be part of this. I have to be part of that. And I thought that was really interesting because we have to open up our thoughts. We have to open up our willingness to, to take chances. We have to stop being paralyzed to make decisions. And that's a big thing for me because I am an analytical person who wants to look at every possible avenue of what can go wrong and then reevaluate and then reevaluate before I make the move. And what I'm realizing is that I've wasted a lot of time planning, replanning, and planning for 500 million possible alternatives when only one is ever going to present and my time would be better spent just moving forward and addressing issues as they come up. And the reason that this hit me is I, I have two extreme examples in my life. One is, this was really interesting. Steve Sims just put himself in a place where he was going to the things that he thought were unreachable. And what he did is he broke down the barrier and realized that nothing is impossible. Well, on the other end of it, this made me think of something that a friend of mine and I talked about um, several years back. There was this really on my way to work, I passed this really beautiful, it looked like a park area that had those old style buildings. And it was a really, really beautiful place. But when you went by this, it had like wrought iron all the way around it. And it, um, it looked like it could be a beautiful estate. And I remember going past it all the time and it, and it was a beautiful, beautiful place. But I knew about it personally because my company, uh, 
was, I'll tell you how in a few minutes, but my company was connected to them indirectly. Well, my friend was talking to me one day and she goes, you know, I just wish I was at a different place in my life. And I'm like, well, what do you mean? And she said, there's this beautiful estate, like, and I pass it on my way to work and, you know, cause we're all from the same area. And she goes, and I always wish I could raise my children in a place like that. And I'm like, well, where is it? So she starts explaining to me this place. And I'm like, I know that place. I pass it on the way to work too. And she goes, I just wish I could have been and that kind of person so I could provide that home to my children and I'm like you don't know what that is do you and she's like what do you mean and I go my company helps them that's an orphanage it's a beautiful location it looks like it could be an estate but it's an orphanage so how many times in our lives have we stepped back and looked at a situation and made an assumption about it that just may not be true so I think on both ends of it we need to kind of meet in the middle. What are we interested in? What do we want to move forward on? What do we want to jump towards? We may not land exactly where we think we're headed, but we'll be landing in that forward motion that will lead us to the next step. So I think Steve Sims had it right in. Put on the Ritz. Go out there and enjoy something. Ask to look at something. Experience things. Break down those barriers because the barrier you put up may be a total lack of understanding. It really made me look at it differently when my friend truly believed that this beautiful estate she looked at was a home she couldn't provide her children. And then it was it put a whole different light on it when I talked to her and said that my company was giving them food and giving them things because it wasn't truly this beautiful estate that she thought. It was a beautiful home for children that had been orphaned. So we have to be careful that we're not looking at other people and making judgments. If there's something you're interested in, go for it. Go try to experience it. Go try to dig in. I see a few people on, so thank you so much for joining me. But those barriers, Oh, hi, Cheryl. Good to see you. Thank you for listening. Um, I think barriers are something that we all have to let go of. And I know I'm guilty. I'm an analytical person who likes to put all the ducks in a row, reevaluate the, the line of ducks. And are they, are they the shortest to the tallest? Um, well, hi, Terry. Good to see you. And what I've realized through Doc V and through, like I said, this is Steve Sims Blue Fishing and Chris Noggle and Stephen Nagy and Shauna and all of them that have been connected, even my group, everybody that I've been involved with, I'm starting to see that the only obstacle that has ever caused me not to reach something is me. So if you have barriers, remember what, what these two people kind of presented to me, both extremes of putting up barriers. Steve Sim said, he just decided to start going in hotels and asking to see the best possible room. And now, he stays in those best possible rooms. He broke down the barrier. He stopped looking at it as something unreachable and he opened the door. And then my other friend looking at this beautiful estate thinking that it was this magical place only to later find out that it was an orphanage. It was a beautiful place and I am so glad that those children had that place to go to. But on the outside, people were making judgments about it, not ever truly knowing what was going on inside of it. So really, I guess it boils down to Forget barriers, reach out for anything that you're interested in, and don't judge another person because what you see on the outside may truly not be what's on the inside. We've all faced things, we've all overcome things, we've all got deep desires, we've all got deep hurts, but together, if we all reach our hands together and, and walk side by side with each other, we can make this better. We can come into this world and and leave it, I guess the one thing I could say is, the day that I'm no longer here, I want to know that I did something that left it better than when I came in. So let's break down those barriers. Let's go to those places that we think are unreachable. Let's reach our hand back and realize that what we see behind us may not be exactly what it looks like. And together, let's make today better than yesterday was. I appreciate you guys all so much. Thank you for being here. Um, Make today count. The people, the relationships, they're important and there are no barriers. Anything you want is achievable. It's reachable, it's obtainable, and there's always somebody who'll help you get there. So thank you for being here and thank you for being here to help me reach my goals. And my goals are getting bigger every single day. So come on, let's all go together. Thank you. Bye-bye.